Once you finish your design, you'll probably need to share it with others. A drawing layout organizes one or more views of your design on a virtual sheet of paper. A layout usually contains a title block, one or more viewports, and annotation. Let's take a look at the steps for creating a layout. The number of layouts in your drawing depends on the template you used to create the drawing. You can right click on a layout tab and choose from a list of options, including New Layout, Delete, and Rename. For this demonstration, I'll create a new layout using the New Layout button. All new layouts include a default page setup and viewport. The viewport controls which area of the design to show and at which scale. For this layout, I'll show you how to edit the page setup, insert a title block, and create your own viewport. I'll start by erasing the default viewport. I'll right click on the Layout tab and select Page Setup Manager. The Page Setup Manager is where I'll modify the layout's output device and paper size. Now I'm ready to insert my title block. I'll make the title block layer current. I'll select Insert and choose a title block that I created earlier. Next, I'll define a viewport to display my design. I'll make the viewport layer current and use the viewports command to create a new viewport. I'll size the viewport to fit into my title block. I can change the scale at which my design is displayed by selecting the viewport and choosing an appropriate scale from the list of predefined options. Once my layout is ready, I choose Plot. Notice the arrow in the bottom right corner of the plot dialog. You can click on this arrow to display additional settings. In this case, I'll accept the default settings and choose Preview. Finally, I click the Plot button to send my layout to the output device.